I was 14 years old. I went from Magalnitsa, a small town where my parents lived. I went back to Warsaw where I was born. I went to Yeshiva, Piasetsne, Kalmanu Shapira, Yeshiva, Piasetsne. And we ate everyday lunch in a different house. That was the hot soup and the old bread. That was the eating. And Friday night we went to the rabbi's tish. Jelna Finev Street, Jelna 5. And there was a long table and with the rich Hasidim were invited to be sitting and waiting for the rabbi. And the Talmidim, all the students, were standing around the long table waiting for Shriam, for leftovers. And uh, the Shamas announced the rabbi cooked, the rabbi is coming. And everybody got up, all the, the, the sitting people got up too. And he started, uh, he started, by he era, by he book. and the rest of the kids and the cuss went around the table and the rabbi said the great Torah it was it was a feeling uh, uplifting. You're on the way to uh, heaven. Amazing. Amazing. It's amazing. Uh, and then uh, I read recently, and I read quite a bit time back, the rabbi was recommending, the Talmudim urging them to save themselves and smuggle to Russia. And he didn't want to go, and he went to a concentration camp, and from there he was, he was sent to Treblinka number two, the good Treblinka. There were two Treblinkas. One, Treblinka were one, you went straight to the guest chambers and the crematoria. He was in the, uh, uh, Treblinka number two for, uh, for four or five months. Then he was sent to a city, Skarzysko, Polish city, ammunition factory, where he worked there, and he died there. Baruch Dayanema. What can I tell you?